Okay, well, good morning, everyone. I do welcome you to the Bridge Christian Fellowship. As it is Remembrance Sunday, we're starting five minutes early. So we'll keep the two-minute silence at 11 o'clock, remembering that it was on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month that the guns fell silent in the First World War. And the tradition has been to remember that event and subsequent wars in the First sun, for the second Sunday of November after Remembrance Day. So let's just have a word of prayer as we come to the Lord. Lord, we thank you that we can come to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you that you brought us into this place to worship you and to hear your word. And we thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Thank you that you're with us always, even to the end of the age. So we pray you bless our time together. Speak to us and through us, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We're going to sing our open hymn, which is number 498 in the hymn book. O oh God, our help in ages past. Be up on the screen. Let's say together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In a moment, we're going to remember those who've fallen in two world wars and in the subsequent wars around the world.
remembering the events of the First and Second World War in which millions of people died and giving thanks that there were those who survived and continued to live. It says, they shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Let's have now the two minute silence to remember them. Tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Then please be seated. I was thinking perhaps the events of World War I and World War II may be very remote to some people, especially those born long after the event. I was born in 1946, so the post-war generation, it was very much sort of the shadow over our lives that had what had come before. I remember my grandfather was joined up in the First World War, beginning of the war, went through all the trenches in Ypres and around there. Never spoke about it, didn't want to say about it, but I remember every day that the, uh, when, he wa when he watched the Remember Day service and the poppies fall down, uh, tears would be falling down his eyes as he remembered his comrades and those who died and the, gave thanks that he was alive. Um, Perhaps we, we can never get our minds around what it was like. Barbara and I went on a tour a couple of years, a few years ago of the World War I uh, events, places. Saw the battlegrounds around Ypres and the uh, Passchendaele, the exhibitions, and almost unimaginable the horror of what people went through in those trenches and the, the suffering of people at that time. Also went to a place called Talbot House in Popperinger, which was a place where the Soldiers went to sort of a refuge. It was a Christian place. They gave them spiritual help, gave them Bibles, and gave them New Testaments and little pocket New Testaments. And there was one pocket New Testament which had a hole through it where the gun had been shot, and it has actually saved the man's life. The bullet had gone into the Bible and had saved his life. But just a reminder of what people went through at that time. 
and how they needed that help from the Lord. And World War II, where we think how near our island nation came to invasion and subjugation by the Nazis in 1940. I watched a film the other day about the Battle of Britain. And Churchill saying, never in the field of human conflict has so much been owed by so many to so few. And there's the uh, RAF fought off the Luftwaffe and stopped the invasion, which could have happened at that summer of 1940 and spared our country from the fate of so much of Europe, which fell to the Nazis, France, Holland, Belgium, Poland, Czechoslovakia, and the terrible slaughter on the Eastern Front in Russia, uh, and the events which took place there. And of course, the terrible events of the Holocaust and the sufferings of six million Jews in the concentration camps. These atrocities which took place, hope that that would be the end of war, but of course it hasn't been. Korean War, Gulf Wars, Afghanistan, Northern Ireland, wars in which people have suffered, and so on. And we remember them. And as we have a special place for Israel in our hearts, we remember Israel. And it's remarkable, actually, how out of those two world wars was set the scene for Israel to come into birth as a nation. And Israel, which faced war since its inception and yet has survived, I believe, with the help of God. And Israel remains a nation of peace, place in the Middle East, a place of refuge for the Jewish people. So let's just have a moment to pray and to remember and to pray for those who have suffered, pray for the armed forces, pray for the peace in our fallen and desperate world. Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives, do not let your hearts be troubled, do not let them be afraid. And Lord, as we see the poppy with the red, it's like the red of the blood shed by so many in the wars of the last century. Remember, members of our own family who were directly involved in those wars, some in the armed forces, some left behind. Remember the injury, the trauma, the death, the courage and the fear. Lives change forever. We give thanks for those who are prepared to pay the highest price of all. God of truth and justice, we hold before you those men and women who have died in active service in Iraq, in Afghanistan and elsewhere. We honour their courage and cherish their memory. May we put our faith in your future. God of justice and peace, we pray for those who've been injured or disabled through war, those who've lost homes and security through conflict, those who've lost relatives in wars, those who face danger, take risks for peace. For all, especially children caught up in the conflicts, for refugees and all who are in need of help, aid and other help. We pray particularly for the people of Afghanistan now left behind at the mercy of the Taliban in desperate need for help and the basics of life to support them. Pray also for the peace of Jerusalem and for the Jewish people, so grievously assaulted by the horrors of the Holocaust, which remain a trauma in the memory of our Jewish friends. We give thanks also for the way you have brought to birth the State of Israel out of the ashes of the Holocaust to provide a home and for your hand of protection over Israel in the wars that followed. We pray for the Israel Defense Forces and for the safety of Eretz Israel in the dangerous situation that continues to face them today. Ever-loving God, we remember those whom you've gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all people, and establish harmony among the nations. We hear of wars in different parts of the world, in Syria, Yemen, Tigray, Ethiopia, terrorism in Nigeria and the Sahel region, dangers of conflict even now in Ukraine, Taiwan, Israel and Iran. Lord, may you hold back the forces of destruction and war, and we pray for peace and peace in our time, knowing also that your word says that there will be troubles as we get nearer to the second coming of our Lord Jesus. Help us to have pers personal peace in these situations, we pray. So, God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memories we cherish, those whose names you will never know, Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>